Hello everyone and welcome back. I just wanted to throw up a quick video because it's time to take the new saw for the workshop out of the box and get it set up. I've had a lot of comments on the videos and uh, on the community Facebook page like did you fall off the planet? I haven't put up any videos lately. All I've been doing and I did explain it in the one video on Joe and Zach's survival is been doing the deer hunting video and that's done now but it's still uploading. Last time I looked it was at 53% and I'm a full two days into uploading. But anyway, I, uh, I do have another farmhouse video. It's going to be a good one as you can see. The, I got the all-nighter wood stove hooked up so it shows the whole thing of getting that hooked up. And But I wanted, I've got a lot of comments about they want an unboxing type of thing, pull it, getting the saw out. So I thought I'll throw up a quick video. Let's get the saw out, get it set up, and then um, at least I'm throwing up a video in there and everybody knows what's going on. In the farmhouse video that is edited but not put up yet, I say that I'm not going to open this up because Melissa got me this for Christmas and I bought her uh, a harvest right, I don't know, the large freeze dryer, whatever it is, that she's wanted forever. So I said I wasn't going to open this until she got that. It's been over seven weeks that she's waiting for it. But my dad's coming up tomorrow to use the workshop for the first time, and it kind of feels like it's like the workshop grand opening. So I've been working on things. I got the planer all uh, hooked up now and ready to go, and that's going to be in a, another video coming up. But I thought, you know what, let's get this thing out. Hopefully it's mainly put together. I think this is gonna be a really nice saw. I went between the DeWalt and the Bosch, and I'm a big DeWalt guy. I've got a lot of DeWalt tools. They've always been good to me. Uh, but I also have Bosch. My routers are Bosch, and they make good tools also. And with this one here, it's, it's not a slider, so you only need, needed like a 24 inch workbench versus a 36, and I do have 36 inches on the workbench, but this one here just seemed, when I, everything I read about it just seemed like, yeah, I need to get this one right here. That one uh, saw that we've been using that I have on the workbench right now that was in the hobby farm workshop. My bitch, that thing's been there over 10 years, probably longer than that. It'll be weird to use a brand new slider, even though it's not a slider. I'll show you what it is. Well, the old saw was a 10 inch. I decided to do a 12 inch this time. Uh, I can get much higher this way. And this one here can actually, I think it was like 14 inches or maybe more than that that it can cut on a straight cut like this. So I was like, wow, that's quite a bit. <laughs> I have that radial arm saw and I do not think that the radial arm saw cuts much more than that. So I really doubt that I'll ever be using that too much unless I'm doing a lot of cabinets where I might have a longer side. But you can see what I mean here. They're about in the same position on the workbench. And this one here is, you know, a couple inches from the wall where this one here, you can still back it way up.
one thing that people said that was strange for them is it go it's so smooth and when you're used to these there's a certain amount of friction in there that you're used to and they said they almost wish that this one had something where you could put a little tension on it because it's hard to get used to when it slides like that One thing that people talked about when I was looking at it, I also went through the fact, do I want to get a 10 inch or a 12 inch? And, but I, I kind of wanted the 12 because there's a lot of times, not a lot of times, but sometimes when you're cutting with this and you just can't, it doesn't cut a long enough stretch. And in those instances, you know, it really sucks. So I thought I might, if you're gonna buy one, might as well get the 12. And then people said that uh, it takes a little bit longer for the 12 inch to really get up to RPM because of the bigger, heavier blade. But I know it doesn't seem a whole lot different compared to what I'm used to. I mean, this isn't a new 10 inch, but still. I don't think it's that big of a difference. I don't think I'm gonna notice it at all. The reviews did say that dust collection on this one isn't all that great, but they said it wasn't all that great on the DeWalt either, so you're kind of getting the same thing either way. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. The new workshop saw is here. My dad's showing up tomorrow, so I'm sure it'll get some use. I will see you guys on the next video.